Hello, today I'm just doing a video on the equipment I use on a day-to-day -day basis when I'm working on my portraits. I've been asked a few times what I use uh, with people starting out wanting to know what they need to buy. So I thought I would just do a quick video on what I use. Obviously you don't need to buy everything um, that I use, but it might give you an idea of the type of the type of thing you need. So we'll start at the top here. This box, by the way, is from Hobbycraft. It's a caddy and it was six pound and I love it. Um, this little section here, I don't really use that often. The only thing I do use are these little tools. I think they're actually cake decorating tools, um, but I use them to make indents on paper. For example, if I'm doing a cat or a dog um, and it needs a really thin white line for a whisker, for example. Um, if there's a white whisker and the fur around the whisker is dark, um, if you make a slight indentation in the paper um, and go over that with graphite or whatever medium you're using, the graphite or the colour pencil or whatever it is you're using won't go into the indentation that's in the paper so you'll end up with a black outline or a, ba a black background or however dark you're doing it and then a perfectly white line um, where the whisker is so that just makes it a lot easier to get that perfectly white line. I've also got some brushes um, and some a white gel pen and some white gouache which I don't think I've ever used but they're in there just to keep them away from my daughter um this brush here is obviously a paintbrush it's a uh, Dana La Rowney round mop brush I used it as an emergency dust brush um my dust brush broke months ago now um and it was one I found and just thought oh that it's big enough to use as a a dust brush it turns out they're not good to use as dust brushes it moved the graphite um so i wouldn't recommend one of those as a dust brush obviously as a paintbrush they're probably pretty good but um as a dust brush they move the graphite so it sort of smudged the picture which was really not what i was looking for um but again, that's in there just because it's too big to fit anywhere else. Uh, these are my putty erasers, kneaded erasers. You can get these from pretty much any craft shop. They're not expensive. They're usually a couple of pound or a pound to two pound each. Um, I use them for every single portrait. Um, and I have a lot of them. I've got four here and I've got three down here as well, new ones that I haven't used. I always keep spare erasers and spare pencil sharpeners because if you don't have them, then you're pretty much screwed. <laughs> In this section here, um, I have my giant jumbo Faber-Castell 8B pencil. It's pretty... Um, twice the size of a normal pencil it's really chunky um i use it if i'm doing a really you know vast area of dark um it's just a lot quicker than using a, a normal size pencil obviously the uh, the lead is a lot thicker so you can cover a larger area in a smaller amount of time i've also got my mechanical pencils again they're faber castell um and i use these for tiny little areas if you can see there's three different sizes the smallest one is 0.35 millimeters so they're really really small um and i use them for you know tiny details in eyes that sort of thing dogs noses i used one on jack my recent dog portrait um to do his nose the tiny little details on his nose they're brilliant for that those i got from amazon i think they were about 12 pound but i'm not 100 percent sure i can't remember <laughs> um and i've also got a charcoal pencil in there i rarely use it because the the graphite pencils i've got now are really good quality and pretty much as dark as a graph as a charcoal pencil so um, I don't really use it anymore, but it is in there just in case I need it. 
These are my sharpeners that I use every day. Please excuse, <laughs> excuse the, the mess down here. There's bits of sharpenings. Um, this is a Coom sharpener. Um, I think I got this one from Hobbycraft. Please excuse, it's got sharpenings in it. Um, these are brilliant. They're so handy and they're made for um, artist grade pencils. So those are really handy. I can't remember how much that was either. I think it was a couple of pounds. It wasn't too expensive at all. Then I've just got a couple of spare sharpeners for emergencies. Like I said, I always keep spare sharpeners and spare erasers. This I is a Stanley knife. Well, I don't think it's actually a Stanley knife, but it's, you know, a, an A knife. Um, and I keep that in there because I sometimes carve the end of my erasers into a point, the tiny, tiny little areas. So I use that just to cut the end of the eraser. Um, I think that was about 50p by the looks of it. I don't think it's still got the price on it. 55p. Um, and I can't remember where I got it from. It was somewhere like the range or, or something like that. And these are my erasers my non-putty erasers so this black one here is the Derwent pen eraser it's quite chunky to hold and I really like that it's just a an eraser so you press the press the end of it and it comes up like that um, it's really handy I use that a lot this is a Tombow Mono Zero eraser I use this all the time i love this eraser whoever invented these is a genius um it's really really thin it's a tiny tiny little eraser you can get them in different shapes you can get them in rectangular but this is a circular one um and this i've actually cut the end as you can see using the the knife um to get into i think i was doing dog fur with that last time um but then i've got graphite on the end of my finger um but they are excellent to make tiny, tiny little highlights for eyes. Any tiny little area you need to get into, they are fantastic. Um, and I got this from Amazon, I think. I don't think it's very expensive. Oh. These are oh, Tombow refills. So they're just, they come in a little plastic tube. I've lost the end for it. Um, they come in a little plastic tube, again from Amazon, and you just pop the refill, if I empty that like that, you just pop the refill into the end of the pen, and it, um, just like you would a mechanical pencil. I think the refill was about 99p, and I got three in a pack, let me just pop that away, um, three came in this little, little tube for about 99p. These are my tortillions and blending stumps, well my current ones anyway, I have thousands and thousands of these. Um, I use the ones, these little ones here are tortillions and I love these ones, these are from Hobbycraft. They're really sturdy and they've lasted ages, um, which is brilliant. They weren't very expensive at all, I think they were about a pound um, for a pack of six, I've lost one. Um, but yeah, they're fantastic. These ones are blending stumps. Um, again, I think these ones were from um, Hobbycraft. They're really sturdy. Again, they're really thick, really hard. Um, but the points are not too um, sharp. You know, they're not going to scratch your work. I had some from Derwent that I was using before I found these ones. And they were so soft if I needed to put any pressure on they were just bending in half which is not what I wanted it wasn't very helpful so, but these ones are really good they were from Hobbycraft this is my current dust brush it's a makeup brush from Amazon I think it was about a pound um, it's really really soft which I love about it and really dirty <laughs> I've not noticed that before um, it was really cheap like I said it was about a pound um, it's sturdy, it's not broken, I've had it for a good few months now, I use it a lot if I'm doing any erasing then I'll just dust the um, the paper to make sure it's nice and smooth again before I'm working and because it is so soft it doesn't move any graphite at all, um, definitely worth getting, they come in loads of different colours but yellow is my favourite colour so that's why I've got that one. These are just 
my spare erasers like I said they are putty erasers so when I unwrap them I will roll them about and shape them um, and then they'll go up there down here I've got my chamois leather cloths I use these for blending um, these I got from eBay they came in a massive sheet and I just cut them up and uh, into little pieces like this so they're easier to to use the only thing I don't like about this is it really smells <laughs> Not so much now, it's fine when it's been opened, but when you first open it, don't smell it. It really, really stinks. Um, but it's brilliant for skin tones. It's really smooth, which is the reason I use it. Um, down here is where I keep all my pencils. These are the Caran d'Ache ones. They're not in a Caran d'Ache case, though. Um, these are the Mars Lumograph. And then the Faber-Castell 9000. Um, like I said in a previous video, I like to use small boxes, small tins of pencils because I mix and match rather than keeping loads of big pencils, big boxes. Um, oh, that's just a refill for the Derwent pen eraser. Um, there's some washi tape, which I sometimes use to stick my um, artwork to my drawing board. It's rare I do that now. Last time I did it, I had a mishap that the washi tape had been on for too long and as I peeled it off it ripped the paper so I don't really use it anymore but it's in there just in case. Here I've got um, sandpaper and a sandpaper block. Um, I use sandpaper to sand the end of the pencils occasionally if the pencil um, point is still sharp for example like this but it's gone flat on the end where I've been using it I'll just gently sand the end of the the point and make it sharp again rather than sharpening and losing and more pencil I'll just gently sand the end of the pencil to make it into a point so that's what that's in there for um these are erasers for um a battery operated eraser pen which I don't own <laughs> I ordered something different from a company and they sent these by mistake but I kept them because they they might be handy for something at some point I might even get an eraser um, a battery operated eraser that fits them um, but at the, moment, at the moment they're there for emergencies if I lose suddenly lose all my other erasers or something I've got something to use at least this is an eraser stencil so it comes in a little pocket like this again it was from Hobbycraft it's just a little piece of aluminium it's bendy um, if you need a perfectly round highlight or something like that you pop that on the um, on the portrait or whatever it is you're working on and you just erase that tiny little bit there and it just gives you a perfect shape that's all um, I don't think I've actually ever used it because I don't think I've ever had a portrait where any highlight is perfectly round or a perfect line or anything like that. But it's there just in case. Um, and that's about it that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. The stuff in the bottom, I, mm, apart from the chamois and the pencils, it's just there. I use it sometimes and it's easier if I'm doing a portrait to have it then have to stop halfway through and go and find it. That's the only reason they're sort of in there. But the rest I use all the time, every day. Um, yeah, so that's it really. If anybody has any questions or queries, wants to know um, exactly where I got anything from or how much it was, just let me know. Um, I think that's about it. Thank you very much.